Bitcoin maintaining much of the gains that it's seen over the last few weeks, along with Bitcoin dominance now decreasing, many moon boys are convinced the alt season to end all alt seasons is about to begin. But are the altcoins truly about to begin a ball busting breakout? Or are the baby bulls in store for a shocking switcheroo? So if you're new here, hit that like and subscribe. Get signed up to Femex below if you want to buy Bitcoin altcoins or trade. Without any further ado, let's take a look at the price of Bitcoin today, which as I'm recording is actually doing pretty well. Uh, what we've seen over the last 24 hours is kind of nutty, kind of insane, and I want to dump into it. I want to look at Bitcoin right here at a very critical place to where I want to show you exactly where I think we need to get a pump here. Uh, otherwise, we could see this price get rejected over the next few days as we head into holidays in the US and receive, uh, a, again, potentially a huge fake out, but we're not there yet. It's on the verge of happening. So we see that Bitcoin dropped to about $90,000, a little bit above that. And the new ballistic acceleration model predicting uh, that MicroStrategy's price of 354 is valid. The stock just closed at about $353. At $100,000 per Bitcoin, it's predicted to be a price of $460 per share, pretty close to the recent peak. Something to keep an eye on as we are tracking both MicroStrategy and Bitcoin. MicroStrategy over the last few weeks has been all over Wall Street bets on the Reddit. Uh, it's just been taking finance by storm, basically, and putting Bitcoin in the spotlight uh, in a different way, right? In the past bull run, MicroStrategy's gains and MicroStrategy's success was important. But now I think financial institutions are truly paying attention and a lot of retail, even non-crypto interested retail traders like stock traders are... I mean, going balls in, balls to the wall on MicroStrategy stock and getting exposure. And it's essentially just a Bitcoin proxy, right? It's basically, it basically is Bitcoin. Now you might be asking yourself, why is altcoin season delayed? We talked about uh, at the beginning of this video, altcoin season approaching and many people very bullish on altcoins. Uh, I think we're about to see altcoins do something big do something explosive. I don't want to look at this post by Ki Young Ju on X. Compared to the last cycle, the nature of capital flowing into Bitcoin has shifted. The current Bitcoin rally is primarily driven by demand from institutional investors and spot ETFs. And unlike traditional like crypto exchange retail users, institutional investors and ETF buyers have no intention of really rotating their assets from Bitcoin into altcoins. But for altcoins to reach a new all-time high market cap, they will require a significant new amount of fresh capital flow flowing into exchanges and the altcoin market cap below its previous all-time high indicates that there's reduced reduced fresh liquidity from new exchange users. Basically what he's saying here is that altcoins might have a harder time pumping. It's not a crazy idea. It's something many people have been talking about for basically since January, since money started flowing into the Bitcoin ETFs in record amounts. Whereas a lot of these big players buying these Bitcoin ETFs are probably not just going to trade into random garbage coins because Bitcoin hits 100K or something. They're probably holding on to Bitcoin for longer and longer. I mean, Michael Michael Saylor, the, the king of Wall Street, in, in regards to Bitcoin, it has no interest in altcoins, and he's you know been onboarding these larger clients. And I don't think he he's not preaching to them. Hey, when Bitcoin hits 150k, make sure to jump into whatever garbage coin you think is going to make the most gains. Obviously not. That's not the plan for a lot of these institutional investors. But I do think altcoins are going to bring significant gains, are going to have significant gains. In fact, I think very soon. And I'm going to talk more about that. But first, Bitcoin's weekly super trend floor has risen to about seventy thousand dollars and has been in the green for 23 consecutive months will this continue basically is 70k kind of the new floor uh if we get a massive dump is 70k kind of be like the the next kind of where it's going to hold is that kind of like the new floor for bitcoin according to the super trend uh it's, it's very possible we see that also uh bitcoin downside liquidity is there's no downside liquidity left. Liquidity is above us. Uh, liquidations are above us. Maybe maybe giving Bitcoin a chance to have a pretty big move coming up here. Uh, we also saw in, in the news space, Japanese public company Remix Point announcing to buy about 500 million yen worth of Bitcoin. We see that speculation growing about countries preemptively building Bitcoin reserves ahead of Trump's administration. Uh, we see, I mean, a lot of changes have taken place just since November 6th when Trump 
was confirmed the winner and will be the new president of the U.S. The, in the incoming administration, I think a lot of companies are probably trying, companies and countries are probably trying to front run this and start also building Bitcoin reserves. I think it's going to heat up. If it's not right now, it's going to heat up soon, I think. And we saw that a Bitcoin re U.S. reserve makes a lot of sense. It is a very forward looking idea. We stockpile oil and gold and China does it. Bitcoin is the world's first digital commodity. And this is the ex CFTC uh, chair, Giancarlo here. Chris Giancarlo, former CFTC chairman. So again, not just another guy on the internet. This is like a somebody who's deeply knowledgeable and was deeply influential in in the US administration in the past. So looking at the price of Bitcoin, you can see uh, I'm, I've highlighted this every single video. If we get a dump here, you know that I'm going to go back and make like a uh, a video showing every single day talking about the CME gap at about 78,000 US dollars. But basically uh, right here, Bitcoin has topped out right right underneath 100K. What a tease, right? Just giving us, uh, it's basically a huge tease, right about 100K. I, when we actually break 100K, I think it's gonna go completely bananas. It's gonna be completely bone, bone chilling. Um, but yeah, rejected right at 100K, pushed all the way down to a little above 91,000 is so far where the low is. And at this very second, basically, if, if Bitcoin can push back above 98,000, then that potentially turns into a short-term, very bullish opportunity here. Now, uh, we see that it, this upward trending level of support going all the way back, really even, we could draw this all the way back to like the end of October, but really it started to matter a lot at the beginning of November. Here we see we've fallen below it. You can see after we fell below this, a decent drop. Here we are bouncing right where are we bouncing? Well, basically, if I draw kind of like a horizontal line, we basically bounced at the top of where we were also kind of facing resistance most of November before we broke out at the end of November. And here we see Bitcoin trying to have, you know, a continued bounce. Now, what else is happening? Bitcoin dominance looks to be maybe topped out. Again, this is something you want to watch every single day because this could actually happen pretty quick. Look what happens in the past when Bitcoin dominance collapses. It collapses like it goes. It collapses really fast. So watching that every day is really important. Um, definitely altcoins actually have just switched their fourth green consecutive weekly candle to green again this was red but now it's green again because altcoins are i mean let me look at my side of my screen yeah a lot of these top alts are up between like six to ten percent not bad um but is this just sort of a dead cat bounce is this actually going to switch and be a fake out you can see so far bitcoin is at a very strong daily bounce exactly here on the daily chart kind of where we were unable to break for about a week um until towards the closer to the end of november and we ultimately did break above 90k but 90k you know is this turning into a big support level very possible we see another big development this is actually the most important thing i think is that look what's happening to the dxy as of the last few days i talked about this yesterday we got a, like a big wick which potentially indicated maybe the dxy is close to topping out two consecutive red daily candles and look what happened today this is big because uh, if this trend continues uh, we could see the dxy finally start to drop which historically is pretty good for Bitcoin. I personally think the DXY being red today is actually one of the reasons Bitcoin is up and the stock market isn't, okay? If you look at the SPX, not particularly great. We're under 6,000 right now. Uh, we were higher yesterday, but Bitcoin is higher, much higher today than it was yesterday, at least so far. And I think that's potentially because of the DXY. If the DXY keeps dumping, then I think it's very likely Bitcoin can initiate a mega move, a mega pump. But overall, uh, altcoins, I think, I think that especially if Bitcoin dominance, at least even if it tops out even for a couple of weeks here, altcoins I think are gonna run like banana mode. And specifically a scenario I think is important to note is that it's possible we see Bitcoin trade sideways between 90,000 and 100,000 for maybe a couple of weeks. And that could be, that would be in my opinion, the perfect recipe to allow altcoins to really put in some gains. Keep in mind, Bitcoin trading sideways is the perfect recipe, the, the best recipe for alt season. We don't wanna see Bitcoin dump massively and we don't wanna see Bitcoin pump massively. If you truly want an altcoin season and you want a couple of weeks or maybe even longer of some nice altcoin gains, you want to see Bitcoin consolidate at all time highs. And what would that look like? That would be pretty much trading between 90 and 100,000 US dollars for a couple weeks. Nobody knows if that's what's going to happen. But all I'm saying is that is the premier. That is a really good scenario, a really good setup for 
if you're interested in looking to see altcoins actually start performing, that's kind of what you want to happen. And get signed up with Femex below if you want to buy Bitcoin altcoins or trade. Also, there's a Thanksgiving trade-a-thon going on right now where you can win uh, a share of up to 100,000 USDT. Uh, without any further ado, that's it for me.